Good morning, Facebook world, and welcome to this Tuesday edition of Light for the Day during Christmas week. <clears throat> I'm going to take um, a, a section of Luke chapter 1 for our thoughts this morning. Um, as we consider the Christmas story after Mary was told by the angel that she would indeed bear the Messiah, she uh, then learned of her cousin Elizabeth, who was with child with John the Baptist. And we read about Mary's praise to God in Luke 1, 46 to 55. She says, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Mary needed a Savior just like the rest of us. She's not deity, but she did say that in verse 48, All generations shall call me blessed. And no, no question, what a wonderful, remarkable young woman. Um, who was the chosen vessel to uh, bear the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, she was definitely uh, regarded by the Lord in high degree, uh, but she was not a deity and she should not be prayed to nor worshiped, but she was magnifying the Lord in chapter one. But then after that, there are some interesting things that Mary says, and I think it's very encouraging and very apropos in this season that we're in uh, regarding the state of our country, elections, what's going to happen if Uncle Joe gets in, uh, what happens if we have an illegitimate president, what happens if Trump gets in and the other side says he's illegitimate. Well, let's just think about some things that Mary said. In verse 49, she says, He that is mighty hath done to me great things. You know, obviously that's a great thing that the Lord did to her in allowing her to be the vessel to bear Christ. But, you know, God has done great things to us as well. I'm grateful when I stop and I think about all the blessings God has bestowed upon me and my family in this church. She said in verse 49, He that is mighty hath done, great thing, done me great things. And then she says, And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Every generation that fears God, God will show mercy. Thankful for that promise. She says uh, in verse 51, He hath showed strength with his arm. And he hath scattered the proud. He hath put down the mighty from their seats. Verse 52 and exalted them of low degree. So am I worried about people getting in power that have no business being in power, that have abused their power, that are not qualified? No, because God will put those people down in his time. And that's where we have faith. The scripture says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. It's not our job to get vengeance, it's God's job. Now, that being said, <clears throat> he does expect us to defend ourselves and so forth, but God's going to put down the mighty and he's going to exalt them of low degree. Well, if you believe the Bible, then that ought to drive you and I to live a life of humility. It's not about us. It's about him. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath hope in his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. What great words Mary said um, after receiving the news that she was with child of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I hope you'll be encouraged by that. You have a great Christmas week and uh, remember Jesus and think and meditate on him this week. And I hope that'll be a challenge and a blessing. God bless you. That's light for the day.